like rain today there's some kind of weird formation in the sky that resembles dirty cotton wool weird Let's see if I can think of anything exciting to talk about. You never know. I was going to do a, put together a movie last night actually from some footage I took uh, from a trip I did on Sunday I think along some dirt roads very nice it was too and unfortunately the GoPro let me down in fact GoPro and Google Maps say this guy wants to race GoPro and Google Maps So the GoPro, I have the GoPro Hero 5 Black and the GoPro Hero 5 Black, I don't know about um, the newer ones but I know it's predecessors, um, you could just plug a microphone directly in them but the Hero 5 Black requires you to attach a rather a uh, large adapter onto it in order to plug in your standard mic so you have to have this ugly ugly block attached to the side of your helmet and, uh, as well as your GoPro in order to record sound which is how I'm coming to you right now all well and good I've got that sorted, it looks a bit goofy but there you go. Now the problem is, i found that this configuration is somewhat temperamental. You have to be very careful. Make sure that you switch the GoPro on first before hitting the record button. Otherwise, it won't record your sound, your voice. It won't record any audio at all, even though everything's all hooked up. So the problem I had on Sunday was so I switched the GoPro on, I'm all ready. I hit the record button, start recording, all good. And then I finish my recording for that little segment and obviously I press the, um, the record button once more to stop recording. But I leave the GoPro on because I'm like cruising at 100k an hour and I don't want to fidget with the off button because it's a long press and I have to use my right hand and so it comes off the throttle and yeah, you get the picture. So the GoPro just auto shuts off after five minutes, whatever. No problem, that's handy. The problem is when you wanna start recording again. I don't wanna fumble around with the on button once again. I just want to hit that record button and uh, use the quick capture feature which on my GoPro is set to video by default but by doing that the GoPro does not record the audio 
God damn. So I ended up with a lot of segments, a lot of video clips with no audio because I was just hitting that record button. So it was wasted. I got some nice film footage, but no audio, no commentary. here so be careful of that guys I don't know whether you found that out as well bloody annoying I know the uh, GoPro Hero 5 has the uh, voice commands but I tried that once before and found that it was uh, picking up my voice incorrectly and would stop recording and start recording at the wrong times or you know it's just getting all screwed up without having that visual it was hard to know exactly what it was doing So Google Maps, what happened there? Well, the reason for my trip on Sunday was I was out exploring these dirt roads because there was a campsite. Just a sort of basic place where you could pitch a tent. No facilities, no nothing, just a, a bush camp. I thought, that looks good. It's only an hour and a half away. Might be good for a one-nighter. So I found it on Google Maps. Google Maps plotted out the route. I set off, got there, and Google told me to take a right. And the campsite was literally a few, you know, hundred clicks, uh, sorry, hundred meters down the road or whatever. But the right it wanted me to take was not a right turn at all. It was some rusty old gate into a paddock with no track, just a fence line. It wasn't a road, well, it wasn't even a track. I mean, I was on the track in the first instance and I was expecting to follow a track, but it was just a fence line, it was nothing. So, yeah, that was a bit disappointing as well. It was a lovely ride out there. Great dirt road, some excellent views. I'll uh, put some images up here. Wow, that's a bit disappointing. Damn you, Google Maps again. Who do you think you are, Apple? It's a nice little area, but I'm surrounded by private land. This is no national park or anything, no state forest. The gate there says private. And the one that we passed further on down there was also private. Skull and crossbones, creepy man. Um, the road that Google said that I had to take wasn't a road, it was a fence. We'll head back that way anyway and uh, take a second look, but it wasn't a road, it was a fence, it was a fence line. Bonkers, mate, bonkers. Did I say it was hot? You see that? Was that good? So 
so I thought, oh well, you know, I can find another route to that at some point. There's going to be another way in somewhere around. I had a good ride out. But the icing on the cake was the uh, GoPro lack of audio. There you go. Hello, Speedy. But at least I got the bike nice and dusty. It looks so much better with dirt and dust on it. The good thing about these KLRs is because they're sort of cheap and cheerful, you don't mind using them for their intended purpose I've seen a lot of videos of guys on their BMW 1200s what have you thousands of dollars worth plus extras and they look like they just come out of the showroom because they don't want to get them dirty why have one then in the first place buy yourself a Harley if you want to just go cruising around. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Talking of which, hope you have a spiffing day and uh, the usual jibber. Give us a like if uh, you did enjoy this video. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for this content continues weekly. You might find it amusing. Look, if you're really keen, I'm not gonna push you. Hit that ding dong bell as well and get notifications. And then I can annoy you from your inbox as well. That's it then guys.